We continue our Georgia Gives special with an important look at hazing. It's a dangerous tradition that has killed one too many students, including the life of Max Groover, an LSU student from Roswell. Uh, now, in the wake of his passing, his parents started the Max Groover Foundation to create awareness about hazing prevention. I recently had the honor of speaking with his mother, Ray Ann Groover. Take a look. Ryan, as someone who was involved in the Greek community in college, um, your story just really touched me. Your foundation is dedicated to your son, Max, who tragically died in a hazing accident. Tell us about him. What was he like? You know, Max was just a really, really great kid. Um, you know, just laid back, really easygoing. He was friends with everybody. You know, everybody loved Max. He was just that guy, you know, that just everybody could relate to, you know, he wasn't the most popular kid, you know, he just was relatable. And so he had friends, you know, he was friends with everybody. That's who Max was. Yeah. And after his passing, you actually found his journal and he wrote something so prophetic. He said, God works in funny ways. He does bad things sometimes because in the end, they're good. Something bad may happen to you, but it may be, may happen because it will make you better. Uh, those words give me chills. How have they given you strength? Honestly, when we found them literally the day before we were burying Max, oh um, gosh. I found it, that journal, and that was the end of his, this paper he wrote on blessings. And I went running to my sister, and I was like, oh my gosh, read these words, read these words. And we stood there crying, and oh. we were like, we have to do something. Max is showing us that we have to do something to change this hazing culture. And honestly, his words are what keeps me going every day. I, I tell his quote in every single presentation we do and I share it with those young adults and ask them, you know, make something good out of something that's been so horribly bad for us. Right. Listen to Max's words. You all can make this change. And you know, hazing has been going on forever. A lot of people may not realize some of the facts that um, are, are still prevalent today about what these people are doing, these young people in these sororities and fraternities. You know, it starts off small like that with like, oh, you know, you have to get me some food or you run to the store, cleaning apartments, um, maybe doing, you know, brothers or sisters laundry. Obviously, the, the, the extremes they go to with the hard alcohol oh. um, is, is like what happened with Max and Tim Piazza and so many others. That's where a lot of these deaths happen. But telling a young man, like, you have to drink an entire handle of vodka oh. in one hour. And, and I know it's so important for you with a foundation uh, to prevent hazing uh, by rallying for laws. So tell us more about it. Yes, we've been working um, with Senator Albers here in Georgia. Um, we got the Max Reaver Act passed this past July. Um, we are going back in January to further strengthen it. Um, we want hazing to be a felony here in Georgia. Yes. Right now, it's, it is a big misdemeanor, but it needs to be a felony. Also, for these young adults, use that law to deter from hazing. Like, I don't want a felony on my record. Right. Georgia takes this seriously. Like, we cannot be doing this. We're going to get busted and we're gonna have a felony or on our record, and how are you gonna get a job after that? Exactly, I know tomorrow's Georgia Gives Day. What does a donation to the foundation mean to you? How can we support you? Um, obviously, you, a donation to us helps us continue to do all of our education. We are working right now on some uh, some other education, like pre-recorded education, films, and things that schools can use in their classrooms. We have Maxes done, but I'd like to be able to do it with other families, so there's always a different story out there for people to watch. We also um, work on these magazines that we're trying, we, we hand out to all my high school seniors Good. when we do presentations with them. We want to keep developing these and moving on. They tell stories, um, different stories about hazing, and then just all the facts about hazing, what hazing looks like, what to watch out for, how to report it. Just go to our website, www.maxgruberfoundation.com, and you, you'll find all kinds of ways to support us here there and see all the activities we have coming up and our big race in March that we'd love for you to all participate in. Thank you so much for using your voice uh, for this very important cause. We so appreciate it. No, thank you so much for having me. We really do appreciate it. We would like to thank Max Groover Foundation for sponsoring that segment.